Hi there, I'm Jason from Strelines. Strelines, a data-driven project prioritization tool designed to help and enable teams to capture and vote on new ideas, track goals, identify priorities, and then quantify it all, giving us peace of mind that we're putting our efforts into the right opportunities. So today, we're talking about stages. Uh, so when we talk about stages in Straline, we're referring to distinct phases having to do with the level of maturation or what bucket an idea falls into as it goes through its journey of, I have an idea, to we're actually doing this. Uh, think of these as stage gates that an idea would need to graduate from in order to get to the next level. So if I look over my stage panel, uh, in its simplest form, we recommend the following. Uh, first, we have ideas. This is usually gonna be an initial raw concept that may address a need or capitalize on a trend. Uh, from there, it would graduate or not graduate to an opportunity. At this stage, the idea has been validated for potential value, indicating that may be worth allocating resources to. Uh, and from there, uh, it can also graduate to a project. This is where the idea begins to morph into a formalized plan to address the opportunity. But we certainly don't need to limit ourselves to ideas, opportunities, and projects. Uh, after all, we have processes that are relatively unique, um, you know, requiring our own sprinkles of nuance. So maybe we want to keep what we have out of the box, but we need to get a bit more granular. So think of maybe we want to have a pilot stage, uh, you know, a pilot being a small scale version of the project that we use to evaluate feasibility, timing, cost, risk, all that stuff. Uh, piloting can help uh, a lot of organizations better understand what they're potentially getting into without having to commit a bunch of resources and, uh, and budget. Uh, maybe it's a program or a campaign. You totally get it. Um, we can stick those anywhere we want in here through the linear process. I'll take you through how we would implement. Let's, uh, let's use our project example. So I'm going to add a new stage. I'm going to call it pilot. So from there, it's saved as a draft, it's not published, it's not in the system. Uh, we need to go through a few more steps for that. So we're going to go to edit. And from here, uh, this is where we're going to see our information page. And when uh, an idea or an opportunity would potentially graduate to a pilot, this is the information page uh, that would be presented to uh, the person owning that idea of op or opportunity. We can have mandatory fields. Uh, we can have um, any sort of uh, data capturing uh, device that we have, you know, limited to, to what we see here. So we would have the title, description, uh, we want to know the department or departments affected, uh, problem to solve, proposed uh, solution approach, um, all the way down to budget contributors, um, adding files and links. Uh, what we can also do is we have all of these options over here that we can add in here. So. Uh, perhaps we want to add a risk slider because we want to know if we implement this pilot, what sort of risk do we feel that we're going to have? And this would be uh, voted on um, and scored by anybody that we deem uh, would jump in at this point. Um, from there, we can say uh, we also don't really care about assumptions. We can hide that. Uh, you get the idea. Um, and then once we go to the top, we're happy with what we see. We're going to hit publish and now we have the pilot stage uh, within our stage configuration and then we can con configure it to say um, if it graduates from this then it goes to that um, that's basically it i mean what do you guys use for your uh, stages and decision making process let us know uh, i'm jason wisterline see you next time